Hi, I'm Bernie Goldbach doing low tech at LSED Clonmel where we have a lot of high tech stuff and students who are ready to rock and roll. We're going to go through 30 second to three minute synopsis with different people who are in our fourth year of our creative multimedia degree program at the Limerick School of Art and Design in Clonmel and you'll see me behind them writing the names or nicknames of how you might contact some of those people. I'd like to start with Ross Bolger who knows how this is done. Ross, if you wouldn't mind, give us a quick explanation of what you're doing for your fourth year project and any of the collaborative value that it might have in terms of uh, things that have gone before or stuff that you hope is the output of the project. Ross? Hello, uh, my name is Ross Bolger. You can find me on my personal website, futuretech.ie or Twitter, Big Bulge. Uh, I'd like to explain to you about my fourth year project and the concepts of the idea, it will be uh, an online murder mystery game. Uh, the platform will be um, iPads or Androids. And basically, the concept is there will be some fictional characters who will all have a story developed and they will link in some way or other. The players of the game will have to snoop around, find these fictional characters on Facebook or Twitter, and basically just dig deep and find find the people they need to find to solve solve the crime. Uh, the app itself will include Facebook and Twitter APIs, so they'll be able to link and see we, what the other players are doing, and they can obviously get clues um, watching what the other players are doing and who they're who they're looking at. Also, I plan to put uh, clues every four to five days on Twitter just to keep longevity of the game, and they can follow. And uh, the concept, obviously, is to discover who murdered who, why, and when. And obviously, the person who does that is the winner. Ross, we're interested in the artifacts that you might be creating. So like, if you were to split this stuff up and, and, and offer something as a screen or as a, as a sample, what are the residual or the core pieces of the creative media library you're creating? You're making you get screens, you have the yeah. script. Yeah. What about the audio? What kind of what kind of audio works behind it? Um, we could, I, I plan to to use a lot of animation in it. To um, the audio, I'll be recording myself. I'll probably get a, a voiceover as I've not got the best voice. But um, as each clue is discovered as it goes along, there'll be a, a short animation scene just to for the player to see how the game is progressing. Okay. So that will obviously be done with flash and. Um, and again, coding HTML, CSS, and working with APIs. Cool. All right, thanks, Ross. Thank you. You can, um, you can spot Ross on Twitter at Big Bulge, and iClab is the nick we're using behind this broadcast. I'll be gonna, this is going up on YouTube, on Hangouts, on Air, so it's recording automatically. We're going to pull it down and add some B-roll footage to it so that if you see this after the 1st of November, it's going to be totally different than what it is today on the 10th of October. Could we get... Uh, someone else that might participate. Aluna, are you ready to go? I am. Okay. Aluna Kott, here she goes. Hi, guys. I'm Ilona, and I actually made a mirror image uh, of my name. <laughs> um, I'm creating an uh, interactive educational app uh, for school kids, primary school kids. Uh, it's going to be aimed at like age group 8 to 12. Um, I'm going to use, it, I mean, I'm, I'm going to develop it uh, using Adobe Flash. Um, I'm going to do, um, yeah, well, the app will in, include animation and maybe games as well to make it more engaging for the kids. Uh, as I noticed uh, that uh, kids learn more through fun, um, especially that age. Um, so that's in a nutshell uh, what what the app is going to be about. Okay. Have you had a chance to talk to anybody that's in app development for this kind of thing? No, but I actually talk, spoke uh, to teachers. Yeah. And uh, I went like through curriculum as well to make it sort of suit the kids' needs. Okay, and what um, what teachers seem to have the greatest interest in it? Like, what is it with subscary art, English, uh, maths? What? Well, pretty much everything, like okay. you know. But um, one thing I actually found out from the teachers is to make it as interactive as mm. you know as possible, uh, because that's how kids learn. 
Are you deriving any uh, motivation from apps that you've seen kids use? I mean, are you, you say, look, these software developers seem to Well, I actually looked at, there weren't apps as such as uh, sort of online, um, well, websites with some activities like yeah. games, more yeah. like games than apps. Um, and I looked at some of them and I just checked, you know, if, mm. what the problems are and how you could improve. Okay. We're looking forward to that. I know I've got a six-year-old that could be a beta tester if you need. Thanks, yeah, Alona. Thanks. thanks a million, Alona. Okay. Stephen Delaney. Stephen's going to pr provide us some expertise about what he's planning on in terms of his, uh, his project. Stephen? I'm Stephen Delaney. You can find me at Delaney Bob on any of the social networks. And my fourth year project is an interactive storybook, which uh, you can take a picture of your child, and they will be put into the story as the main character. It will also, as I said, uh, involve some interactive elements where the child can move things around in the book. And the child can also choose different, uh, make different choices in the book which will then change the storyline of the book uh, depending on what they choose. Uh, some of the elements that will be involved in my book will be graphic design, uh, character design, which will be done in Illustrator, um, animation, which will be either done in After Effects or in Flash. I'm programming it using uh, ActionScript, and there'll be put out for uh, both iPad and Nexus, and um, the audio, the music will be done in Ableton, and the voices will be edited in Reaper, and that is what I'm planning for my poetry project. Okay. I know I'm interested in Stephen, uh, he, knows I, he knows the question, I'm interested in the, like, the key core software that makes your stuff definitely have a have an edge to it. So if you were going to mention any of the software packages that we have in the, in the lab, or do you have personally, what would you consider to be like essential finishing gear when you put this, this flow of, of these, these elements together? I mean, you're beyond action script with it. You're, you're actually providing exceptionally crisp, detailed movements on the animation timeline. So what do you, what's your go-to software to make sure this stuff actually has your look? Um. So the main software for me is Illustrator. Mm -hmm. This is where I always start in nearly every project. I nearly try to put Illustrator in yeah. because it's my favorite and I think it gives me the look that I want. Okay. And if animation, I like using After Effects to okay. animate. And what I see with this project, since I'm building it in Flash, it might be better to use Flash. Okay. This project. Okay. Thanks, Stephen. All right. All right. Cool. Um, well, the work that these guys are doing will only have a high level of finishing if they put the time in on it. And uh, in Stephen's case, and actually most of the people who are presenting here, there's a lot of upskilling on the job. Uh, you learn as you go, get the gear, get the software subscription, with Creative Cloud, or get the licensing for the software if you're, you're installing it local. Um, I'd like to have. Someone from towards the back of the room, Rob or Aoife? Either one of you guys ready? Aoife's ready. Aoife McMahon? Aoife's got an artistic background and some other points of interest concerning where she wants to go with the fourth year project, and she's going to share it with us now. Aoife McMahon. Hi, I'm Aoife McMahon. You can find me on Flickr at um, My fourth year project is going to be um, an interactive digital magazine um, on Kilkenny arts <laughs> and culture. <laughs> That's all. Right. You don't actually have to flip backwards on that. That actually looks backwards, but it's actually no, forward. No, it it, I don't know. So. you got both, both sides of IFA, the mirror and the real side. OK. Oh, right. All right, we're looking forward. So how, what's going to be the output? So the interactive magazine to what? To to ebook to oh to for iPad for the newsstand. And what are you going to author it in? Um, what am I going to put it in design in? Um, uh, in design, and yeah. I'll see if uh, Adobe, I can get the Adobe Publishing soon. 
We should go right from. I think they're licensed for that. You should go from InDesign on our on our build, push it right out mm -hmm. from that. Are you going to export it all to Kindle? Um, no, I haven't looked at that. Okay. It's for interactive, so I. Yeah, no. I mean, you, a dumb, a dumb, a dumb down version. You might be able to bring it out if you wanted to have. It's another channel to market. That's all. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Work with that. Uh, InDesign can do what you're asking to do. It's a matter of how complex you want to get. And that's where you get publishing suite issues. Well, if I don't get publishing suite, I might be looking at using Laker and Baker. It's open source. Yeah. Um, the other thing, too, um, do you know whoops.ie? OK. Uh, we, we might be able to get a, a license for their software as a service to export. W-O-P.ie. Whoopi. OK. Thanks, Ethan. Thanks. All right. Um, I don't, we, need a, we need a male voice up here. Rob Healy, are you ready to go? Rob's a gentle giant, and uh, he's got stuff that works with kids. Uh, in the past past year, and I'll see what he's doing this year. Rob Healy. Hi, uh, I'm Rob Healy, and you can find me here. Um, Trickster09, that's my nick. So my project is basically going to be on uh, social media gaming. Uh, basically, I want to use social media integration to um, create a multiplayer gaming experience that kind of doesn't exist at the moment, and uh, core technologies I want to use are stuff like Node.js, uh, Tree.js. So it's going to be a lot of HTML, HTML5, CS3, and JavaScript. Um, so there isn't really any core patches that I want to use that I'm going to rely on. Um, but I think it's, it's an area that's coming up, and a, a lot of people are looking for social media app API integration. So that's what I want to do. That's okay. it. Cool. Thanks, Rob. So I'm not pushing anyone to do this. Uh, we have no Amish in our room. But we have some people that aren't here, so they might be afraid of the camera as well. Hello. Eddie McAvoy isn't afraid of this pinhole camera. Um, hi, my name is Edward McAvoy. You can find all my stuff here at www.edwardmcavoy.com. Um, that's my portfolio website. The project I am doing is called Stadium Experience. And basically what it's going to be is a travel companion for um, people who go to watch soccer matches in the English Premier League. Um, the app will give them details like, like kind of trip advisor where uh, places to go for to stay, to eat, to park, um, all generated by uh, fellow users. That's basically my idea. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, we're going to try this now. So right now I should be talking to the camera because I haven't scared, shared the screen yet. And what I want to do is I want to go to uh, I have Google+. Plus. I just look up the word Adrian Fielding. I find him in a circle or two. Um, he'll show up. And then... Um, this is the screen here, so maybe I can go with just, uh, well, I'll let you on the screen, Adrian. <clears throat> so you can scroll it around, or you can punch specifically into the post if you want. Okay? Now, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the screen over on the Hangout, are we? So the screen share, it's found Adrian Fielding, and you want it, Adrian? Come here. And I'll introduce you to Adrian Fielding. Uh, I'll, I'll show his um, show the face first. Right, come on over here so you can see who you are. So you walk in there, you can see what's on the live screen. This is Adrian. Adrian will introduce himself. So go ahead and do that, and I'll pop the name behind you. But then um, what we'll do, go ahead and introduce yourself, and then just pop start screen share by popping that. OK. OK, try that. Hi, how are you doing? My name's Adrian Fielding. Those are my details. That's the um, link to. The proposal I put up on Google Plus on the hash Eichel app, and you can find some more of my work at www.adrianfielding.com. Um, that's backwards. No, well, it, it doesn't matter. It, when it goes out to the internet. It's forward. So for my project, um, I'm going to create a third-person shooter game um, using using uh, the Unity game engine. Uh, it's going to be called Just Another Zombie Game 3D. Um, I created for other projects two games called Just Another Zombie Game and Just Another Zombie Game 2. So this is the third in the series, and it's going to be in 3D. I'm going to create um, the character models in the environment using 3D Studio Max and ZBrush. I'm going to import these into uh, Unity, um, and I'm going to program the game using JavaScript, and I'm also going to create a theme tune for the game as well. And the 2D uh, user interface, title screen, 
on high score tables. Now, if everything works right, we should be able to pop back to the screen by unselecting it. And uh, there you have it. Behind me, you see Ross doing the filming. So Ross is filming himself. <laughs> so this is where a totally different in-world experience. I'll share, I'll share this stuff over. The idea is that everybody who's presented will end up in a pinpoint in the iCollab map. It's the iCollab community of practice inside the Wikitude, inside the world, uh, inside a world experience uh, with a variety of uh, geographic, geodetic references that bring us all together in a layer on a map. So that's it. To get back to who we are, iCollab.wordpress.com will have a short reference to what we've just done here today. It's also being tweeted about, and um, iCollab, I-C-O-L-L, AB is the reference point being used by uh, international educators throughout the EU and parts of the United States. As I said before, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back probably in about a month's time with an update with different faces. Thanks, thanks a million, and bye for now.